The communist regime in China considers Rome and the Pope as foreign influences in their country that might promote dissent from the government. That is why the Chinese government created the Catholic Patriotic Association in 1957, an official body to name, coordinate and manage all Catholic bishops in China. Many of those bishops, considering that the CPA does not follow Christian teachings and interferes in their allegiance to Rome, refuse to recognize its authority. They constitute the unofficial church. Father Bernardo Cervellera, a longtime missionary in China, claims, however, that there is one church in China. No, non si può dire che ci siano due chiese. No, one cannot say that there are two churches in China. In fact, there is an official church in which all of the bishops, except eight, are in communion with the Pope. In the unofficial church, there are around 40 bishops that pledge allegiance to the Pope. The challenge for Vatican diplomats is to convince the Chinese government to soften the anti-Vatican agenda of the Catholic Patriotic Association so that the church loyal to Rome might be able to operate freely. However, if the government concedes this, they might ask for something in exchange, and that will most likely be that the Vatican recognize eight bishops who have been excommunicated but are still active and are members of the CPA. Father Bernardo Cervellera thinks this is the main obstacle in the way towards full communion between China and the Vatican. I do not think that the Church can accept embracing the excommunicated bishops all at once, because amongst them there are bishops who have a wife and children. There are bishops who refuse to ask for reconciliation. There has to be a screening, one by one, to see if it is possible to bring them into communion. I think it will be difficult. Father Bernardo Cervellera thinks that cozying up to the CPA is a red line for Parolin and the Vatican diplomatic corps. That is why he thinks a possible agreement between the Vatican and Beijing might go along the lines of improving religious freedom for the underground church and ending persecution. The Holy See is seeking an agreement that does not threaten Catholic doctrine while at the same time protects the underground bishops and pushes for the release of those imprisoned. This makes me think that Cardinal Parolin does not want to sell the Catholic faith and imprison it in the hands of the Catholic Patriotic Association, but rather he wants to cooperate with the government to improve religious freedom for the Church. Recently there was a small but significant gesture that could be a good omen for relations between the Vatican and China. Pope Francis spoke about it in his return flight from Azerbaijan. For example, it was a convenio of two days, I believe, in the Academy of Sciences, su laudato sì e c'era una delegazione cinese del presidente e il presidente cinese mi ha inviato un regalo e ci sono buone relazioni The gift the Pope is talking about is a replica of the Nestorian stele a symbol for Christianity in China In Chinese culture a present is a message and this one seems loud and clear